Hello, everyone. I'm Kai Chen from Shanghai Air Lab and also leading the Open Lab team. Today, I will talk about Open Lab, an uh, open source platform for computer vision, language, and generative AI. With the development of deep learning and computer vision, big companies and research institutes open source deep learning frameworks such as Cafe, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. Of course, today, PyTorch has almost dominated the AI research community. With these frameworks, the cost of conducting research and Im implementing algorithms uh, greatly decreases. More researchers tend to release the code when paper get published. On top of PyTorch, we hope to push one step forward from a unified deep learning framework to a unified algorithm frame framework. So we announced the Open Lab project in 2018. Open Lab is open source, it's an open source computer vision algorithm platform with a unified architecture for training and evaluation. It covers more than 30 research areas, implementing over 400 algorithms, including classic and state-of-the-art ones. We also released more than 3,000 pre-trained models and build fair benchmarks with standard training settings. We hope these models can provide a solid foundation to researchers. Open Lab was first released in 2018. At that time, there are only two packages, MMCV and MM Detection. In the next year, four new code bases were developed. In 2020, we support more mainstream, mainstream tasks, such as classification, segmentation, 3D object detection, etc. In the past two years, we kept open sourcing toolboxes for new areas and closely collaborate with colleges and research institutes to work on more directions. In the future, we will extend Open Lab to multi-modality learning and language models, and more new projects are coming. Today, we have built a powerful framework based on PyTorch. We developed two foundational libraries for computer vision, uh, MMCV and MM Engine. MMCV implements lots of networks operators that are missing in PyTorch. These operators are supported in, on both CPU and GPU. It also implements common data augmentations and image processing functions. MM Engine uh, provides a generic and universal training engine, serving as a foundation of our algorithm code bases. Based on these two uh, libraries, we construct co code bases with, uh, for different research areas, like MM Pretrain, MM detection, MM segmentation for image perception, uh, MM tracking and MM action 2 for video understanding, MM magic for image and video editing and generate generation. These code bases involve uh, more mainstream research areas in computer vision. Towards in industrial applications, we develop uh, MM deploy for model de deployment. It bridges the gap from research to production. OpenMap has gained great community impact uh, this year. It has received uh, more than uh, 19,000 stars on GitHub. It is noted that OpenMap and uh, is not a com competitor of PyTorch. Instead, it is part of the PyTorch ecosystem. Uh, we just show this figure uh, as a reference. More importantly, there are more than 1,000 contributors uh, from worldwide. Uh, these contributors actively uh, commit codes to Open Lab projects and makes it stronger. Uh, in the academic community, Open Lab projects have been adopted by over uh, 2,000 papers, including many high impact ones, such as Swing Transformer. Uh, one of the advantages. Uh, one of the advantages of OpenLab is that it provides high quality implementations for different areas, making it a good benchmark when researchers want to evaluate their models on uh, downstream tasks. Meanwhile, uh, we have seen more than uh, 20 change winners adopting OpenLab at their base.
Next, I will briefly introduce some databases in OpenMath. The first one is MM Detection. It is perhaps one of the most uh, popular computer vision libraries. It supports instance level recognition tasks such as uh, object detection, instance segmentation, and panoptic segmentation. Uh, during the past year, we extend ML detection to more vision language tasks such as uh, open vocabulary de de detection and segmentation, uh, caption, uh, etc. So this is a gradual uh, demo, uh, which is uh, also implemented in uh, ML detection. In later sessions, uh, other speakers will talk more about this library. MM Pretrain uh, orig originates from MM Classification and MM Self Soup, aiming to provide a unified code base for pretraining. It supports various vision backbones and vision language models, as well as uh, self supervised learning methods. It is also compatible with other code bases of OpenLab. Uh, and makes it easy to integrate pre-trained models in downstream tasks. Uh, for example, you can uh, use all the models implemented in ML pre-trained as the backbone for detection tasks or segmentation tasks. MM segmentation is the most widely adopted semantic segmentation toolbox in recent years. It can be applied to general scene understanding, self-driving, remote sensing, and medical image analysis. It incorporates over 30 algorithms and releases more than 400 models with lots of ablation studies. We provide a standard benchmark with fair comparison. MM3D, MM Detection 3D is a platform for general 3D perception. It supports uh, 3D object detection methods with different sensors like cameras and lidars. Uh, since it adopts a similar design to MM detection, it is much easier to integrate 2D detectors and use modules from MM detection. It now has supported uh, more than 30 algorithms and uh, 100 models. MM Rotate extends MM detection to implement rotated object detection, which are useful in remote sensing or text detection. So this is a, a video demo of MRotate. MMOCR uh, is a toolkit for text detection, uh, text recognition, and the corresponding downstream tasks, including key information extraction. It supports a variety of state-of-the-art models and provide a comprehensive set of utilities which can help users assess the performance of models. MMPOST is a post estimation post toolbox. It contains a rich set of algorithms for 2D multi-person post estimation, uh, and also uh, hand post, post estimation, uh, face landmark detection, whole body human post estimation, fashion landmark detection, and animal post estimation. Uh, here is an introduction a video of, of MM post and its applications. We also developed uh, RTM post, a real-time multi-person post estimation algorithm based on M post. Uh, it is lightweight enough to run on CPUs, uh, GPUs, and mobile devices. Uh, so it can it can achieve more than uh, 300 FPS on a uh, uh, Core i7 CPU, and it is also easy to deploy. Uh, it supports various backends uh, like Onyx, uh, TensorRT, uh, etc. And also, it is easy to integrate RTM post uh, to your own application. Uh, it support it, it supports uh, Python, uh, C plus C sharp, and Java. Uh, APIs to integrate it, uh, to integrate this uh, algorithm. And also MM Action 2, it implements uh, various algorithms for video understanding tasks, including action recognition, uh, action localization, spatial temporal action detection, and also uh, skeleton-based action detection. 
we have supported over uh, 20 different algorithms and the 20 different data sets for this task. And magic originates from MMA editing and MMA generation. It unlocks the magic of generated generative AI. And magic is a powerful toolbox that supports low-level algorithms based on both CNN, GANs, and the diffusion models. And magic supports popular applications on image restoration, uh, text-to-image, 3D aware generation, uh, in painting, matting, uh, super resolution, etc. Uh, here is a video of a magic, and it supports uh, various uh, tasks. Okay, uh, in super resolution, uh, colorization. And also image translation, uh, it is an uh, old task. So this is in painting. Okay. Uh, besides uh, developing toolboxes for uh, research, uh, we uh, step forward to production. From research to production, uh, what we need to do is to deploy the model to on specific devices, such as CPU, uh, GPU, or mobile phones. When we have developed a novel algorithm and obtained a PyTorch model after training, a general pipeline for model deployment is first converted to some intermediate representation, for example, Onyx, then converted to the format allowed by the inference engine on the target device. During this process, we need to resolve issues such as how to convert the model, how to implement the operators that are not supported by the IR or the inference engine. Now we present now, the architecture uh, of MM Deploy. MM Deploy naturally supports open web projects like MM Pretrain, MM Data, MM Stack, etc. It mainly consists of three components uh, the model converter, uh, SDK, and the backend extension operators. The model converter converts PyTouch model to IR model, and then IR model to inference engines. SDK provides simple and unified APIs to execute the model. And the users can develop applications based on the SDK. We implement lots of operators on different backends and devices. There are four major advantages of MMP Deploy. Firstly, as an open framework, it supports various inference engines such as TensorT, Onyx Runtime, LibTorch, etc. So you can choose your favorite ones. And also it is compatible with multiple platforms, including Linux, Windows, Android, and Mac OS. Besides, MM Deploy allows allow users to develop with different languages and can be flexibly uh, integrated to the production system as required. For example, just to use the IR model or inference engine models or integrate the whole SDK. So here is an example of how to use MM Deploy to deploy Internet to NVIDIA GPUs. The first step is to run a single deploy script to convert the Python model to a Tensati engine. And then uh, we can obtain a result model with the binary files and config files. Next. We can use the Python SDK or CPP SDK to run the optimized models on GPU and enjoy the acceleration. Okay. We have introduced lots of open lab projects and we say that it is fancy, wonderful, and perfect. But what is the benefit of adopting it? Since some researchers may read codes just from the scratch without any algorithm code basis. Uh, 
uh, it's not also uh, that difficult for uh, some uh, CNNs or some simple networks. But by adopting open map, there are some significant advantages. The first one is unifying architecture. Users can learn once and use everywhere. Since the architecture and APIs are almost the same for all open map code bases. You can also implement once and uh, use anywhere. For example, to uh, implement to implement a background in M M and then use it for object detection, segmentation, post animation with just modifying config files. Uh, especially nowadays, uh, unified architectures uh, is a trend for academic community. The second one is unified benchmark. OpenMLab provides fair benchmarks for academic research. For some research areas, different papers may adopt totally different settings. And we cannot conclude whether the model matters or the hyperparameter matter. In OpenMap projects, we investigate lots of training checks and hyperparameters and benchmark uh, dozens of models under the same or similar settings. This benchmark makes it easier to compare your work with others than the modular design. OpenMap code bases are carefully designed based on research experience and engineering practices. Users only need to write a few mod modules instead of the whole pipeline, making it fast to develop and try new components. Lastly, we provide high quality implementations. The efficiency and the performance are usually higher than other ones, uh, even the official ones. And the strict code style makes it easy to uh, read and maintain the project. Okay, uh, next I will introduce, I will introduce Intel AI a large language model and this open source platform developed by Shanghai AI Laboratory. Uh, we have developed uh, InterM, a series of uh, in large language model uh, from 7 billion to uh, 123 billion. Uh, the 7 billion version uh, is easy to deploy and it is trained on uh, 1 trillion tokens. Uh, it supports uh, 8,000 uh, context window. Uh, this version is the best choice for low cost deployment. And also we have, have the uh, middle size one, uh, in time 20 uh, billion. It uh, has 20 billion parameters and it is a good trade-off between capacity and the inference cost. Uh, it adopts a deep, and shallow architecture to uh, have a good reasoning uh, ability. And it has a uh, 16,000 context window. Uh, the 20 billion version is strong, but also uh, efficient uh, for com uh, commercial usage. Uh, the largest one, uh, one 123 billion version, it is the most powerful, and also uh, it is good at understanding and reasoning. And also it supports function call and uh, plugins. So it is the most general and the powerful one. Uh, here, uh, I present the interim 20 billion. Uh, according to the several evaluation of exams, uh, language, knowledge, understanding, and reasoning. In time, uh, 20 billion, Outperforms all similar or, or of uh, similar size models, including uh, Llama and Llama 2. It, e it even achieves comparable performance to uh, Llama 2 70 uh, billion with less than uh, one third parameters. On the hugging face open MM leaderboard, in time 20 billion also tops the prediction model below uh, 35 billion parameters. Besides the model, we also uh, release the open source tool train from data uh, pre-training, uh, fine-tuning, uh, deployment, evaluation, and application. Uh, for the data part, uh, we release the one-gen uh, new data set 
for training uh, LLMs. It has uh, two training uh, data of multiple modalities and tasks. And for pre-training, we have in time training. Uh, it has uh, ultra optimization for parameters. Uh, it can be trained with a uh, um, thirty uh uh three three hundred and uh six uh more than three thousand uh tokens per second per GPU. And also we have X tuner. It supports uh, efficient fine tuning and supports uh. LoRa, uh, QLoRa, etc. And also the deployment toolkit mDeploy. It can uh, deploy and serve LMs uh, with high efficiency. Uh, it can generate more than 2,000 tokens uh, with a single GPU. And also uh, the Open Compass. It is a comprehensive and, re and reproducible uh, evaluation toolkit. It supports more than uh, 50 datasets and uh, 300,000 samples. And also uh, we have a uh, legend. It is a uh, LM based agent platform and it supports uh, plugins uh, and also code interpreter. So the tool chain can make it uh, easy to uh, develop and easy to use. Okay, uh, that's all, uh, thank you.